What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Maddie and her bag herself. Definitely click up the trademark. That's me. Always showing people how to get to the bag while looking like a baddie. And yeah, me like it. Every time you wake up, stunning with no makeup. Me like it. How you call my name up? Got me feeling way up. Me like it. Haters trying to break us. Them know they can shake us. Look at this beat, okay? I definitely should have did a Get Ready With Me video so y'all could have seen me do my beat, but I actually did this beat yesterday. So, unfortunately, this is what you get. But I need for y'all to stop what y'all doing before y'all watch anything else and like, subscribe, and share this video, okay? Leave some comments below. Show the girl some love. But let's go ahead and get right into So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is get a rat tail comb and my Goss To Be Glue spray. And I'm actually gonna spray the Goss To Be Glue spray onto this rat tail comb. And that way I'm able to push the baby hairs back. That way when I do go ahead and bleach it, I'm not getting bleach on these baby hairs. I only want it on the roots. So I just lightly go ahead and press it back like so and move my way all across the front of the frontal doing the exact same thing. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and flip over the frontal and grab my BW2 bleach and get this frontal bleached, okay? Now, when I'm developing the bleach or when I'm actually mixing the developer and I'm gonna be using the 20 volume developer and that way we don't over process the knots what could lead to a lot of shedding. When I'm mixing this bleach with the 20 volume developer, I'm using a little bit of developer at a time and mixing it up so I can get this thick consistency. I don't want it to be too watery. I definitely don't want it to be too thick because if it's too thick, then I'm gonna to have to press too hard, which could get bleach on the hair and then we'll have to color correct at the end. So, and I don't wanna to be too watery because then it can seep through the um, lace, which can also be a problem. So it has to be this smooth, thick, but smooth texture, okay? And now that I have the right consistency, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is grab my black little gloves. I got these little thick little gloves from Sally's and I'm going to apply this bleach to the lace. Now, mind you, when I'm applying this bleach to the lace, I'm not gonna be pressing it down too hard because I don't wanna press too hard and then it get on the rest of the hair. I'm gonna lightly apply this, making sure it touches all of the knots on the back of the lace and spreading it evenly. And once I do that, I'm gonna allow it to set for about 10 to 15 minutes. So I went ahead and washed off the bleach and notice how it's very orange. It has that copper kind of tint to it. We don't want that. That's amateur bleaching and we are bedroom professionals, okay? So I'm bleaching this in my bedroom. So <laughs> we're gonna get rid of that copper um, color and that orangey base by using our Shimmer Lights Shampoo and Conditioner. So we're just gonna apply the shampoo to the back of the lace. Um, rub it in, have it sit for a few moments just so it can kind of tone that orange out and rinse it out. Now you can see um, that that brassiness is now out of the base of the lace. You like how that rhymes? <laughs> the brassiness is out and now we have this thick, thick hairline that we don't want. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our tweezers. We're gonna tweeze this hairline. Now, when it comes to tweezing, I really can't like tell you what to do, but I can tell you what not to do. You don't wanna tweeze right on the actual hairline. You wanna grab the hairs behind the hairline. You don't wanna tweeze straight across. You wanna like skip in between tweezes. And that way it creates a gradient look. Um, keeping in mind the tweezers that you want to use are going to be the flat edge tweezers. Um, it doesn't matter like what brand, just make sure they have like that flat edge. And then in addition to that, you also um, don't want to tweeze too much because if you tweeze too much, you have nowhere to go. If you tweeze a little bit, once you actually apply the lace, you'll see areas where you may need to tweeze a little bit more. I do sometimes use a little bit of mousse 
when I'm tweezing um, because that way it will lay it down um, so I can actually see what I'm doing. And then I also like to use a comb because as I begin to tweeze, I like to push the hair back. I do find that it's easier to actually pin the frontal onto the mannequin head and work your way from one side to the other. Um, that way you can keep a firm grip um, and then make sure you're not tearing the lace. Now when I'm tweezing, you see this hairline right there? I'm going to grab a piece of hair behind it. Like I'm going to start grabbing hair slowly right behind it. Now I do like to comb the hair back as I tweeze just to make sure I'm not tweezing too much because it's better to tweeze less than more and that way you can fix it at the end. Um, so as you can see, I'm kind of combing it back and then I like to part a row in front and then begin the same process again over and over. And I do this only for about three to four layers back and that way you get that gradient look. As you can see, I'm just repeating that process on the way back. Just don't go too far back because you don't want no thin ass hair, okay? You want it to look natural. <laughs> so now you can kind of see how I am, how much I've tweezed in just a small section. This is about how much hair came out of that small section so that you can have an idea as to how much you need to tweeze to get that natural hairline in each section. So now that I finished tweezing it, I'm gonna go ahead and add the wig net onto my mannequin head. This wig net, I got it off of Amazon. It's a size small. It does have a thick band, but I will show you how to make that adjustable. And once I go ahead and add this or put this onto this mannequin, as you can see, my mannequin's kind of been through, through some things. Um, I'm going to actually go ahead and sew down the frontal first. And when I sew this frontal down, I like to make sure I have it at least one inch above, about a half an inch to an inch above the front of the band. And then I'm gonna sew it down on both sides. And then after I sew it down on both sides, I'm gonna cut the inside that covers that net. I part my frontal down the middle just to make sure that I have it like evenly um, sewn down on both sides, if that makes any sense. And then I braid both, uh, or I braid one braid on each side just to keep the hair out of the way while I'm sewing. You guys can kind of see here exactly how much I have it in the front um, of the net. Then I'm gonna start by sewing down one side to the left and then sewing down the other side to the right. Now that I'm taking the wig off and I'm cutting the inside, of that frontal, that extra lace, I'm cutting that off. Now that it's all cut off, I'm gonna go ahead and tint my lace. And to do so, I'm gonna be using the light brown from Fanka Beauty in addition to the tan from um, True Match Lace Conceal. I like to use both of them because if I only use the Fanka, it's going to be way too orange. Or if I use too much of the Fanka, it's going to be way too orange. And if I only use the tan, I still feel like my lace is kind of transparent and I can see it. So I like to personally mix in both. So I'm just going to lightly spray on the Fanka and now I'm going to lightly spray on the True Match Lace Conceal making sure I get it right there on that hairline. And then we're gonna get to sewing in these bundles, child.
And the bundles that I'm going to be using are um, Mink Brazilian. I have the 20 inch, 24 inch, and actually I have two 24 inches and a 20 inch. I love this hair because it literally will last me three to four years and it's very silky. I'm going to start sewing from right to left from the bottom all the way to the top. However, on that band section, make sure you're only sewing through the actual net and not the elastic band. Otherwise, your cap will be too tight and it won't move at all. So just be sure not to sew into the actual band, only the net. Now that I'm at the crown, I'm just going to go straight across, left to right, left, right to left, right to left, right to left, and close up the gap. So ignore this because like I said, we are remodeling right now, but I'm using that netting. I did find a better netting that's way more transparent that makes the bald cap look even more better. But for now, we're using this. I'm going to be using the Wig Dealer Melting Spray, and that's what I'm going to spray on this hairline to make these little bitty fly away things lay down i really should have a blow dryer but i don't so y'all gonna get what you get and you ain't gonna throw a fit once that's on i'm gonna be using the kendra's boutique flat iron or a hot comb i love this hot comb because it heats up to 500 degrees in like 90 seconds it's super fast and that's why i love it and it gets the job done i'll also be using the bed head wax stick this is so that when i'm pressing the hair out it's sleek but it's not greasy so i really like this stick but can we just get into how this lace is like melting into my skin? Don't. <laughs> okay. But I think that I'm going to use a little bit of the melting spray in between this part. Lastly, I'm going to be using this elastic band. I love it because it has like the Velcro tips. Got this from the Kindle collection as well. Um, and I'm going to place this around the perimeter of the hair just to lay down that lace um, and let that melting spray kind of just seep in. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish pressing it out. I'll be back with the finished look, guys. So here's the finished look. This is with no filters, just has some curls there. This is when I had it pulled up into the ponytail, you know, the little light baby hairs on this one. Really when I'm pulling it up like that, I don't like to have any baby hairs, but you know, I had to be dramatic for y'all. So did the baby hairs there, you know, your girl just be, you know, trying to kill it. It's up and close and personal. I just love this hd frontal so if y'all really loved this video y'all and y'all loved how i did this tutorial and showed y'all how to really be baddies and be in y'all bag um definitely make sure you like subscribe and share this video and then if you want to see more videos leave in the comment section what tutorials you want to see but until then i will see you all next time yeah me like it Every time you wake up Stunning with no makeup Me like it How you call my name up Got me feeling way up Me like it Haters trying to break us Them know they can shake us